Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Mario 64. Last time we left off, we did Tall Tall Mountain, and this time, I guess we're finally going to do some of the levels that uh, aren't in, like, just the walls of this room. So let's go ahead and do Tiny Big Island. I don't think there's anything too crazy on these, so there's a gimmick with this. If you go through the big one, the island starts off big. If you go through this one, it starts off small. I believe that's how it is. Or it might be reversed. Tiny huge island. Okay, yeah, if you go in the tiny one, you start off massive. Never mind, I had it, I had it backwards. So, yeah. Now we go ahead and get up here, and this one is weird because there's- Oh my gosh, come on, I'm like giant. Does fire really hurt me? Well, I suppose the, if the fireball is like the same size as me, yeah, it probably still hurts. Um, can I make that jump up there? Okay, we can. Okay, Piranha Plant, come back. No, you don't. Die. Okay, is that is that the only one here? I think so. So now we have to jump in these, and now we become small. And, yeah, now there's, like, giant Piranha Plants that we have to murder. And, uh, they drop us coins, which is nice. And I like to just dive through them, because that always seems like the easiest way to murder them for me. Come back. Boom. Dead. I have plucked you. And... Aha. Uh -huh. Got you. Boom, 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 boom. And... Uh, there we go. Thought I was going to fall off that edge for a second. And there's our star. So yeah, that one's pretty easy. Pretty simple. Boom. Here we go. Look, the piranha flower. Here we go. So, what do we want to do now? Let's uh, let's once again go into the big one, just because it's much easier to get around. Or, oh wait, no, not the big one. The, we we want to be small because that's where a lot of the missions take place. But the big one does make it a lot easier to traverse. The tip top of the huge island. Okay, never mind. I should have started off big. Should have started off big. Um, because this is going to be much more annoying now. We don't want to go this way because uh, over here, there is a. Uh, if you get into that water, I'm pretty sure there's a jerkish fish that spawns and tries to eat you. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. And it's a little dopey looking fish, but the fact that it tries to eat you just spooked me as a child. Because, of course, everything spooked me as a child. Oh, yeah, there's Lake Atu on, uh, this map, I guess. I don't have enough momentum to just climb up walls with the shell, unfortunately. Uh, camera can't lack it too. See, yeah, there's a stupid fish. He has sunglasses, and he'll try to eat you, and it's not fun. Okay, let me just bump into that. Ow, stupid Goomba. Die. Die for your sins. Okay, so we need to make that jump. And the question is, can we make that jump? We can't. Okay, uh, uh, I'm on the wall. Okay, okay, there we go. I was trying not to die there. Thank you for the one-up. Alright, now we're just gonna go ahead and sidle across here. Because I am not testing whatever it wants to throw at me as I go across this thing. So Mario's just going to... Grind on this wall a bit. And, uh, that's, that's how we're gonna spend the next, uh, minute or so. Well, it wasn't as long as I thought. But hey, he, he sidles faster than, I, I forget which game it is, but somebody sidles super slowly. Is it Link and Wind Waker? It might be Link and Wind Waker. Okay, let's hop in this. Let's see if we can make it easier to get up to the top if we just utilize this. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is a lot easier. Especially because I think, um, the balls don't hurt us, if we're large. I'm also trying not to fall off this platform, that is why Mario is tiptoeing currently. Yeah, I think we just kick the balls when we're big. Like, we're like, get out of here. Oh no, they still hurt us. Okay, never mind, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, um, but I think we can't do anything with the top of the mountain if we're big. So I think we have to go back to small now. I always thought this was a super neat gimmick when uh, I first got to this level. 
Oh, and they just put this jerk up here. Just to be mean. Look at him, waiting menacingly. Luckily he was like, stuck on the wall or something. I don't- I don't know. Just, uh, camera, why would you turn like that? <laughs> you made me walk into the wall there. Okay. What is this? This is the star. Good. There it is, the tip top of the mountain, we did it. Yay, here we go. Alright. Tip top of the huge island. So... If I'm thinking this next mission is what I... If it is what I believe it is, then, um... I think we want to go in this one. Cool, I did the three jump thing that I always liked to do as a kid. Yep, yeah, rematch with Koopa the Quick. We need to be small for this. We need to be tiny. And I believe he is over here? Koopa the Quick? Is he over here? I think he was over here. Um... Or, oh no, is he not over here? Is he not over here? I thought he was over here. Do you have to be big to see him? I thought- I could have sworn he had to be small. Stop that, Lakitu. You're supposed to be helping me, you stupid jerk. You're supposed to be my camera. Maybe that's why you screw up all the time, because you're actually an enemy. Ow. Okay, I don't- Oh, I just murdered him. I didn't even mean to murder him. He just took Mario's, like... Mario did, like, a double drop kick into his face. And now he is dead. I'm sorry, Koopa. Uh, come here, you. Or, er, Koopa. I called- I, I said Koopa. I was thinking about the Koopa when I said it, but no, Lakitu. I apologize- well, I don't actually apologize, Lakitu, because you give me a bunch of trouble all the time. So, screw you, jerk. Uh, there's Koopa the Quick. He's up there- oh wait, well no, that's his flag. That's like the... end point. Wow. Okay, okay, thank you, wind. I didn't realize that stuff went on like a timer. Okay, well we're gonna go into- we're gonna be small. Because apparently... Koopa the Quick is, uh... Small. Or, no, 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 we need to be big, because... Okay, well, whatever. He wasn't there the last time I went, so hopefully he's there this time. I don't remember where he is. I thought he was on the... beach. I really thought he was on the beach, but there was just a normal Koopa there. Okay, fire. Please quit. Thank you. Jeez, you stupid jerk. Jump. There we go. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, oh my jeez. Okay, we're good, we're good. Um, can I even do anything over here if I'm... Oh, okay. If I'm big, I can do this. Yes. Uh, thank you, camera. This is magnificent, really. Oh my gosh. There we go. Ow. Okay, Koopa. Where you at? Okay, oh, I think that's him. That is him. That is him right there. Okay, so he- he was above where I thought he was. Okay, cool. Secrets. Oh, jeez. We don't want to fall. Okay. And there we go. Now we just gotta go over there and we gotta speak to our good friend, Koopa the Quick. Um... And, uh, we should be good. I'm really not excited to be, uh, racing the guy in sunshine, but... Long time no see. Wow, you've gotten fast. Have you been training on the Slyers at the Power of the Stars? I've been feeling down about losing the last race. This is my home course. How about a rematch? The goal is in Windswept Valley, sure. Alright. Oh my Jesus. That's not fair. You put that there. We just uh, skip a lot of that course right there. Uh, keep running, Mario, keep running. We're almost here! Oh, that's cheating! That is cheating, sir! I was gonna win! I was gonna win, you jerk! Until you put that in my way. Can I, like, long jump across that? No. Hmm. How am I supposed to, uh... Get past that a better way, then? Is my question. Because if we had a metal cap, I could do it. Are we just supposed to, like, 
I I wonder if we're just supposed to run alongside him, like let him catch up to us, and just like run alongside him so he blocks the wind, and then right at the end just jump ahead of him. Mario, just grab the stupid ledge. Thank you. Gosh. Alright, get in there. We're going for a journey. Actually, why, why don't I just see if I can get up higher on the mountain just big like this? Can I just... I can. Cool. Cool. That's fantastic. Massive time save, everyone. We are currently on world record pace for beating Mario 64. I will have you know. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. Away we go. Okay, yeah, I think the idea I have is, uh, good. So we want to walk across, like, the same time he does, basically. So, let's not get too far ahead of him, but, uh, I want a little bit of wiggle room here. So we'll get just far enough ahead. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now we wait here for Koopa. It's like, oh my gosh, he sprinted across it. He went way too fast. Uh, he went way too fast. Hmm. Well, you beat me. I win, you lose. Ha ha ha. That's what you get for messing with Koopa the Quick. Alright. Can we just exit course, or do you actually just want me to commit Sepoku? Alright. Well, we're already near the top of the mountain. I believe there's a mission we can do at the top of the mountain, so... Why don't we just go ahead and try to- Oh my- Okay, never mind, I got married by- Uh, married. I got married! I got murdered by a tiny Goomba. Is uh, what I meant to say. <laughs> because he just ran into my knee and- or my shin. And knocked me off the map. Alright, this is probably the last time I'll show the run up here. Because we've seen this, like, a billion times at this point. I'm glad you can grab that ledge right there. It makes this a lot easier. Alright, in we go over here. So maybe I'm just supposed to run across it really quickly? Like, don't stop. Long time no see. Wow, you blah 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 blah. I'm stupid. I cheat. Because I'm- I'm big. I'm bigger than you. That's how I cheat. I'm not even that fast, it's just the fact that, uh, I don't care about the wind. And you do. Because you are a tiny, tiny man. Alright, so... Just run, just run, just run. Don't long jump or anything, you lose momentum that way. Got him. Eat it. No way, you beat me again, and I just spent my entire savings on these new Koopa Mach 1 sprint shoes. Here, I guess I'll have to hand over the star of the winner of the race. Yeah, you were slightly faster, I'll give you that. But, uh, unfortunately your gimmick did not allow you to totally defeat me, Koopa the Quick. So goodbye, nerd. Rematch. Alright, that took a bit longer than I expected it to, but uh, we did it. So, what's this level? Five itty bitty secrets. Oh no. I'm large. I am Largo Grande. Oh no. Uh, okay. Well, ow. Uh, please. Please, Mario. It's like a tiny bit of fire. Look, let's just murder the flower together. Okay, never mind. Okay, five itty bitty secrets, eh? Well, I know one of them is over there, because it's that little, like, entrance thing, I believe. Uh, get me down here. Okay, I can't get to that island unless I'm big, so there must not be one at that island. So let's see if we can, uh... Oh no. Oh no, he's here. Swim. Swim, Mario, swim. We gotta swim. If we can make it over there, there's a secret over there. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Oh no, don't jump, Mario. He might be right behind you. Please. No, Mario. Mario, just grab the ledge. Like, your life depends on it, actually. Okay. Whew. Okay, I think this little thing right here is one of them. Or wait, it says five itty-bitty secrets. I bet that means... I have to examine them when I'm large. Okay, can I exit the course? No? Okay, well, I guess let's show what getting eaten by the fish looks like, because... Uh, I need to get big again. 
Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to examine these secrets when I'm large. I wasn't thinking. Fish? Oh, there you are. And Mario died. He was eaten by a very cool-looking fish. With sunglasses and all. Okay, no, we... Well, wait, no, 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 we do want to be large. But I turned tiny. Yeah, I was thinking when, when it said itty-bitty secrets, I was thinking we had to be small to interact with them. But no, you have to be big, because that's how they're tiny. Right? Okay, that's not one, apparently. I know the one, uh, up top, because I've already done that one. The problem is, uh, I don't know where the other ones are. Like, I have no idea. Okay, Mario. Okay. You know, that's what I always think when my- when- when I set myself on fire. I think, you know what? This fire is gonna go out in about three seconds, but why don't I just jump off a cliff and kill myself? You know? Why don't I just go ahead and end it now? The pain. Okay, we got over here. Jeez. Mario, you don't just have to jump off cliffs when your butt's on fire. There are other ways. We have technology. Okay, camera- camera. Whew. Oh boy. Okay, is this a itty bitty secret? Oh. Oh. It's just for one coin, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Excuse me while I never do that again. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Whoop. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, whoop. Okay, that didn't work. Come on, I've done this, like, perfectly a few times now, and now I just have lost the ability to do it. Get up, come on, Mario. Get up there, there we go. There's an itty bitty secret. Where's another itty bitty secret? Is it this itty bitty secret? No. That's not itty bitty enough of a secret. It needs to be itty bittier. I think this is Koopa the Quick. And I think I can murder Koopa the Quick. I'm pretty sure I can murder Koopa the Quick, which is, uh, sad. I don't want to murder Koopa the Quick. Well, now we're down here, I guess. Welcome to this area. Is there anything here? Is this- this isn't itty bitty enough for you? Okay, guess not. What if I examine it from this side? Aha! That was a itty bitty secret, but only if you examined it from the other side, you see. There's another one. Oh, jeez. Please don't. Oh, hi. You'll be useful. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, no Goomba. Goomba? You quit that. You quit that right now. What are you- are you just charging around? Okay. Whew. Um... I don't see anything over there that looks like it could be an itty bitty secret. So I'm just gonna ignore that area. This looks like it could be over here, though. So... Uh, can I even walk on that? I don't even know if I can. Uh, can I examine it if I just go up here, like- oh, jeez. Huh. Okay, yeah, I can- I can, like, proc it just by doing that. Okay, but where's the last one? I'm not sure where the last one is. Hmm. More itty-bitty secrets are what I require. Is a Goomba not an itty-bitty secret? They're pretty itty-bitty. Oh, jeez. Get up there. Alright, we need one more. One more itty bitty secret. Oh jeez. Please don't. Mario. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Off the cliff we go. Well, the bob bomb certainly is an itty bitty. Oh jeez. Oh, Goomba, you stupid ass. How does he even push me? He's too small. How does he even push me? Alright, well. I'll see you when I collect four secrets again, I guess. He's so small. How does he push me? Alright, we are once again back at four itty bitty secrets. Um, I'm not, I'm just trying to live. Please. Oh my god, this Goomba. Okay, is this the last itty bitty secret? It's not exactly itty bitty, but no. What is the last one then? I don't even know. And I feel like I'm about to die here. <laughs> yep. Because that was the only way to get over there that I saw. Shit. 
What is this last stupid secret? Uh, I think I just remembered where the final secret is. Just sitting here thinking. Um, there's a cave you can get into for probably the mission we're gonna have to do next at the top of the mountain. Um, I wonder if that counts as one, because I think you need to be tiny to get in there. And I am not tiny currently, so... There's our fourth one. Let's see if we can just get up to the top of the mountain. Uh, like this. And, uh, yeah, I think there's one up there. We just gotta deal with these stupid Goombas. That run really fast, and also that stuff. <laughs> Where we're trying to balance on very, very tiny platforms when Mario's, like, massive. Get- oh my god, just do the stupid- Turn thing! Do the backwards somersault thing! I, I don't know what it's called. I just know the one you- You press one way on the control stick, then press the other. I have a hard time getting Mario to do that sometimes. Okay, can we just... Uh, backwards somersault up here? Nope, not- just barely, no. Because the geometry is a bit weird. And we just kind of bounce off. Okay, let me- let me try the other one. Maybe Mario will just grab the ledge? No. It's like, no, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. Alright, so I guess we're tiptoeing across this precarious little platform. Uh... Come on, Mario, you can do it. We've been on this mission for a bit now. Please. Okay. We're up here. There we go. Yeah, and I think you have to, like, ground pound this, and then you can actually go into it, and that's where that star spawns. Now I just have to get over there without dying. Which is, uh, much easier said than done. Um... Okay. Okay, there's that. Alright, now. Just don't kill me, camera. And we're good. Lakitu likes to try and murder me, but this time I'm going to try not to get murdered. Okay. Just a just a little bit of a spook. Just a little bit of a spook. He he thought he would scare me a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. All right. So five itty bitty secrets. I think the next one's the coin star. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Wiggler's red coins. Yeah. So we're we're gonna want to get um. Point, uh, as many coins as we possibly can here. What are you? Okay, you're just a stupid one-up. I don't care about you. How does that tiny bit of fire actually hurt Mario at all? Like, <laughs> the stupid piranha plant that's just here to stop you from getting up here. I hate you. There we go. Okay, we want to be small because of these bad boys. Actually, we've- we've seen me go through this level quite a bit, so I'm just gonna collect a, uh, fair few coins. So we can try and get the, uh, coin star. And, uh, I'll see you once I collect a pretty good amount of them. Well, um, a stupid, uh, piranha plant knocked me down a after I was punching it in the face. And, uh, yeah. So... I guess that's not happening now. Why don't you give me, like, a blue coin, don't you? Also, do I get any coins for pushing this peg in? But yeah, we're gonna have to go this way now, because I can't get uh, back up to where those piranha plants are. Uh, unless I'm big. Okay, well, we're here. This is where the red coins are, but... Um... I don't know if I want to get all these right now. Because... I want to make sure I collect as many coins as possible for the 100 coin star, but yeah, that's where the red coins- I mean, that's where the, uh, yeah, red coins are, in that place. But we'll come back to there after I grab some more coins, because we're only at 62 currently, and I think there are some more still hanging around this level. And I just died to the stupid wind currents because I don't understand how they work. I thought when you're being blown off the platform that if you jump into the wind, it'll pick you up and 
pull you along, but no, apparently that was not the case. Apparently that was not the case at all. Apparently the wind just decides to work when it wants to work. What? Why did I get a blue coin? I've noticed before that I've gotten a blue coin from these Goombas before. The, is it because I ground pounded it? Oh. Oh, okay, if you ground pound the Goombas, you get a blue coin instead of a regular coin. Ooh, okay, that's useful. That's very, very useful information. Alright, because I've just been jumping on the Goombas and you just get one coin if you do that. Okay, see, the wind actually works that time, and I don't understand the reason for when the wind works and when the wind doesn't work. So it kind of just terrifies me every time I get to that particular part of the level. So I'm just like, is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? I don't know, man. I'm terrified. Okay, I think we've done it. Yes, there's a hundred coins. And now we don't have to worry about losing the stupid hundred coin star. Really, the secret to that was uh, realizing that you get extra coins if you ground pound the Goombas like that. That was most of the challenge of that, so now that we have that knowledge, oh geez. And now that we've completed that, we can go do the red coin missions safely without worrying about dying, because uh, this one is hard, from what I recall. It is uh, quite difficult, if I am remembering correctly, because uh, there's a lot of easy ways to die, basically. Yeah, and there's even a lot of coins that I missed around here, so... I feel like it would be possible if you didn't know the secret of the Goombas, but it would be a lot harder. <laughs> like, it would still be possible to get 100 coins in this level. But yeah, you would have to, like, kind of nickel and dime your way to the top... ...to do it. Boom. Alright, now we are safely up here, and hopefully we do this red coin mission on the first try. I- that's the second time I've slidden off of that. Like, I come to a stop because I'm like, okay, I'm about- I'm about there. Let me come to a stop, and then I just slide off anyway. <laughs> Mario's just so slidey. That's one of the things I feel, uh, Sunshine solves, I guess? Is, um... Much like, uh, Odyssey. Like, if you do accidentally slip off of something or anything like that, you have the ability with, um... The, uh, I forget what it's called, I think it's the floater jet. You have the ability to, uh, like, correct yourself. You know, if you do manage to slip off a platform, you can be like, Oh god, and you use that to get back on the platform. And Odyssey has a very similar thing where you can use Cappy to, you know, kind of adjust when you mess up. But in Mario 64, there's nothing. If you miss a jump, you're just dead. So, speaking of, uh, missing a jump and just being dead, we have this area, which a lot of people don't like. A lot of people don't like, and for good reason, because it's a lot of precise jumping. If you fall, you are dead. And um, some jerk put a uh, yeah, a like flame thing up there with that one coin, because they were like, you know, I hate humanity and don't want to see it succeed. You know, that's the only, that's the only possible reason I could see for putting that up there. So, yeah. We're just gonna make some very careful jumps here. Uh, I said very careful jumps. Huh? Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Can we, um... I think we can kind of grab the that grating up there, and then just kind of climb across a lot of these things. If I can actually get Mario to do a wall jump. No, okay, he didn't want to grab it. Alright. Well, now the question is... Um, how do we get to, uh, a lot of these other things? Alright, camera, you're gonna need to work with me here. In this level, in particular, you're going to need to work with me, camera. Okay. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking for some assistance here. Oh! I thought that platform continued. I didn't know it went off the cliff like that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. I hate this mission. I hate it so much. This mission is awful. I remember having so much trouble with it as a kid.
All right, we're back in here. I almost missed the jump before I had even mentioned that we're back in here. Um, and we're gonna do this again, however many times it takes, I guess. Even though I absolutely despise this mission. Mario, why did you not grab that ledge? Why did you instead just slam your chest into the side of it just to disappoint me? Why would you do this, Mario? When have I ever shown you anything but love besides this particular game? <laughs> Alright everyone, welcome back to hell. Um, it's quite hot. It's not fun. But here we are. Uh. Doom guy thought the stuff he has to deal with in his game was hard. This is... This is actual hell. Okay, you managed to grab it. Congratulations, Mario. Okay, now we just have to get up to that one. Which, um, is particularly jerkish. Because, uh, if I remember correctly... Uh, yeah, there's- there's one of those boys up there. So, we're gonna- we're gonna try to do this. Uh, I think you have to wall jump up there, actually. But if Mario would wall jump- no, instead he just jumps into the wall and does not perform a wall jump. Alright, here we are. Welcome back to the, uh, seventh layer of hell now. Uh, you know, things- things haven't changed much. Still very hot. Um, still hell. Uh, I think probably our best bet for- no, I don't even think we can make that with a long jump. I was gonna say, I think our best bet for getting that coin up there would be to long jump from there, but I don't actually know if we can make that. So, uh, we're not gonna try it. I'm gonna instead try to go for this jump, and yes, Mario did indeed grab the ledge this time, like the good boy that he should be. Um... I can't make that with just a regular jump- okay, I can. Okay. You're a jerk and I hate you! Hide behind the blue coin. Okay. Whew. Okay. We are good. We are good. Now I just need to get over there and grab that one. Which is once again easier said than done. Okay. Okay. Progress. Progress. Okay. Okay, and at least we don't have to go anywhere crazy to get the star. The star is right here. We just have to drop down and get it. That's why I saved this one for last. <sighs> Give me. Here we go. Jesus. I hate it. I hate it. This recording is now an hour and two minutes. And uh, we haven't even done the final mission yet. Isn't that just dandy? So, let's go ahead and get in here. Boom. Get- Mar- Mar- Mario- Mario, I'm about sick of your shit. Get in there. <laughs> I am very fed up with you- with the- with you this episode, mister. Oh wait, why did I go in this one? Shit. This isn't what I wanted to do at all. Well, damn it. Okay, um... I was wanting to do my little trick to get to the top of the mountain quickly, but I'm so used to going in the small one to do the red coin mission that I just went in there out of habit instead of going into the other one, and Mario won't long jump. Honestly, my brain's just probably so scattered right now that I'm going to be missing inputs just all over the place, really. Uh, so... For this one, if I remember correctly, we need to get to the top of the mountain. Um, it would be very, very helpful if I could get over there, because that would be exactly what I need. Can I make it, though? I cannot. Uh, this might be a moment I just exit the course and come back, because... Okay, never mind, that works. Cool. Well, thank you for letting that work. So, what we have to do is we have to get up here, we have to turn big, we have to go to the top. We have to smash that in. And, uh, once we do that, it should drain the water, if I remember correctly. Um, I remember having a very hard time with this once again as a kid, because I just... I got up here and I saw the thing, but I was like, well, I, I can't go into it. Okay, you stupid Goomba, if you're just gonna sit there and freak out, then I'm just gonna leave you. Oh no, Mario. Mari... Oh, Mario, you stupid. You stupid, Mario. You very stupid. Okay, back up we go. Pass, back past this annoying Goomba that just kind of freaks out on that platform. Okay, okay, Mario, nudge the... 
nudge the side of the slope there, and that automatically makes him get on his hands and knees and just slide on his ass. Or not on, not on his hands and knees, but... It makes him get on his butt and slide if you just step on... a kinda steep slope. He just is like, nope. Nope, we're going for a ride. Okay. Walk. Slowly. Carefully. Become zen. Get up here. Smash this. Okay. Okay. Now we just jump down here. Okay, you stupid Goomba. I'm glad you killed yourself on me. Die. Okay. And now we go over here and somehow you're mysteriously back. Okay, this truck that... Or... I don't even know what these things are called. Honestly. I wanted to call it a truckster, but that would be wrong. Because we're not to that game yet. And the camera is just like, okay, I'm gonna turn this way now. That's helpful, right? So please run into the wall. Alright. Uh, if we just keep going... Yes. Here. Go in. Alright, and here we are. Wow, you flooded my house. What? Why? Look at this mess. What am I going to do now? The ceiling's ruined, the floor's soaked, and... What to do, what to do? <laughs> it makes me so mad! Everything's been going wrong ever since I got this star. It's so shiny, but it makes me feel strange. Okay, Wiggler. Um, I don't actually remember how I'm supposed to fight you. Is it that? No. I can't take this anymore. First you got me all wet, then you stomp on me. Now I'm really, really mad. Wah! Uh... Okay. Uh, I did not mean to collect all of those because I might need those for health. There we go. Hey, knock it off. That's the second time you've nailed me. Now you're asking for it, Linguini Breath. Oh no. Linguini Breath. Camera, please. I don't even know where he is. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Uncle, uncle. Okay, I give. Take this star. Phew. I feel better now. I don't really need it anymore anyway. I can see the stars through my ceiling at night. This makes me feel peaceful. Please, come back and visit any time. Hey, now we're friends with Wiggler. Okay. Okay, never mind. I, I thought we were gonna, like, murder him. I think you can murder him. Oh, he just fell through the floor and died. Okay, never mind. We murdered him. But there we go. That is Tiny Huge Island. Taken care of. I hope everyone enjoyed my suffering. And I suppose I'll be seeing you next time for more suffering, because now we have to go into this level. So I hope you've enjoyed, and yeah, I'll see you then.